Hi there, this is Ronnie coming at you with a video. So, um, this is Friday the 25th of May. In three weeks, well three weeks tomorrow, 16th of June will be Free RPG Day. And my friendly local gaming store has, at the moment, uh, six games that are going to be run. Uh, hopefully we're going to get the players for them. Um, I'm hoping that, that there'll be a mix of uh, experienced role players who like a particular system, experienced role players who are interested in trying a different system than the one they usually use and uh, people who have never played a role playing game before and it's a perfect opportunity for them to have a wee taster so I'm looking forward to that so I'm running one of the games, I'm running a game called Incident at Hell Station it's going to be a sci-fi game although it's going to be a fairly intense um, experience for the players and uh, in case Doc is watching it's going to be fun lots of fun um, I'm not going to explain that gag um, if my friend Doc is watching he knows what that gag is anyway um, so I'm doing the prep just now. I'm I'm going to be doing seven characters. I'll probably prep that over the weekend, print them out, and then do the the, the characters. Uh, because it's a mining station, I want I don't want to make it all security people. I'll make a couple of security sub miners, um, some sort of science people. Um, Maybe a nice sort of legal bureaucrat or something. Uh, <laughs> just to make things interesting. Um, the main thing I'm really sort of having to deal with is uh, the adversaries I'm going to use. Now, I am using Savage Worlds. And if you've seen recent videos of mine, you can see, see that I have uh, acquired a fair few campaign settings, settings books and uh, additional rules and so on. What this means is, because it's all the same rules, I can pick and mix uh, from anywhere. I, I I could grab something from one of the fantasy settings or what one of the, 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 the different sci-fi settings or one of the urban fantasy settings or even one of the horror settings for that matter um, and I wouldn't have to change anything really I can just put it in and um, this I really like the idea of uh, I like I like that I could just nick a, a creature from wherever I think it will also help because it will keep the players on their toes one of my players one of my regular players is actually booked into the game and she is a little worried that I'm going to use the uh, xenomorphs um, this kind of HR Giga xenomorphs from the Aliens series of films um, yeah um, it's tempting to do that But I really don't want to. I want to do something a little different. Although 
I mean, I might put one or two in just just to make them just just to get their attention. But um, it's not my immediate push. Um, I might do creatures that are similar to. Uh, instead of using, say, the face huggers, I could use something sort of spider-like. Um, so it would have that same movement, but uh, would be distinctly different. And that's the thing I'm really looking forward to. That that that's the thing that's actually working most. Um, I mean, I've got the layout of the the station. I I I bought a map from uh, Drive Through RPG for that. Actually called Hell Station. So you know, if you want to look it up on Drive Through RPG, you can. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. I think it'd be an interesting game. Uh, yeah, it'll be fun. Um, the other games that are getting played. Uh, Ryan, who's one of my regular players, he's also running Savage Worlds, but he won't be running his till the evening. He's running a game uh, based on Resident Evil. Sort of, you know, big sort of action survival horror. I'm not sure whether he's taking his influence from the video games or the films. Um, but that either way it's gonna be an interesting game. Um somebody's running Pathfinder. Somebody's running a uh, thirteenth age. Um somebody's running Fantasy Age. Which because it's on at night I'll be able to see a little bit of before I head off. Because uh, I'm intrigued by that one, I, I I like the age system. And the sixth one that we have at the moment is uh, someone is running the one dice system, and they're they're essentially doing Ghostbusters, which I think could be fun, and it would be an interesting entry level game for someone. Um, I think it's being pitched so that uh, uh, younger players can come in on it. I think <laughs> my one's going to be a little intense for kids. But we'll see what happens. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll probably do a couple of these sort of diary things as I go along um, as I'm prepping for this. So thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with another video.